Scientists say the plant inset, an Ethiopian staple, could be a new superfood and a lifesaver in the face of climate change. The banana-like crop has the potential to feed more than 100 million people in a warming world, according to a new study. The plant is almost unknown outside of Ethiopia, where it is used to make porridge and bread. Research suggests the crop can be grown over a much larger range in Africa. This is a crop that can play a really important role in addressing food security and sustainable development, said Dr. Wendeweka Beba of Hawassa University in Hawassa, Ethiopia. Enset or false banana is a close relative of the banana, but is consumed only in one part of Ethiopia. The banana-like fruit of the plant is inedible, but the starchy stems and roots can be fermented and used to make porridge and bread. Enset is a staple in Ethiopia, where around 20 million people rely on it for food, but elsewhere it has not been cultivated, although wild relatives which are not considered edible grow as far south as South Africa, suggesting the plant can tolerate a much wider range. Using agricultural surveys and modeling work, scientists predicted the potential range of inset over the next four decades. They found the crop could potentially feed more than 100 million people and boost food security in Ethiopia and other African countries, including Kenya, Uganda, and Rwanda. Study researcher Dr. James Burrell, of the Royal Botanic Gardens, Q, said planting inset as a buffer crop for lean times could help boost food security. It's got some really unusual traits that make it absolutely unique as a crop, he said. You plant it at any time, you harvest it at any time, and it's perennial. That's why they call it the tree against hunger. Ethiopia is a major center of crop domestication in Africa, home to coffee and many other crops. Climate change is predicted to seriously affect yields and distribution of staple food. Crops across Africa and beyond. There is growing interest in seeking new plants to feed the world, given our reliance on a few staple crops. Nearly half of all the calories we eat come from three species rice, wheat, and maize. We need to diversify the plants we use globally as a species because all our eggs are in a very small basket at the moment, said Dr. Burrell. The research is published in Environmental Research Letters. Most people that have studied Ethiopia have heard about injera. However, many have not heard of another staple food enjoyed in the southern regions called false banana or kocho. False banana got its English name for being a plant that looks deceptively like a banana tree. I know it tricked me my first time. The process of preparing this is quite complex. First, you need to find an adult tree. People often grow them around their houses and they take three to five years to reach maturity. You then cut the leaves off of the tree. This will be used for later. After that, you start removing the layers from the trunk of the false banana tree. A false banana tree is technically not a tree, but a type of grass. The inside is very wet and peels away easily. After you remove a layer, you tie it up to a board. You use a stick to scrape away the inside of the tree trunk leaving behind a fibrous material that can be used later to weave rope. Nothing is wasted, even the root is dug out and removed to be eaten later. This fibrous material will later be woven into rope. The material that you scrape off will go into a hole in the ground and be left to ferment for as long as one month. This will create a dough-like substance that can be cooked and enjoyed like hard bread. To cook, it will be diced up with a knife and placed upon a banana leaf to cook in an oven-like structure. And that is how you make false banana bread or kocho. Yeah.